there, Michael Peluso here, you know, haven't given you any information in glass in a little while, and I want to. So what I'm going to show you how to do today, is a little glass snowman, so appropriate. So I'll do that right now for you. It's going to start off by me gathering some glass from my furnace using my hot metal blowpipe. In my furnace, I have vats of glass, kind of in big, giant coffee mugs, so to speak. So there's some hot glass. I'm going to get some color on this glass, but I want to make sure I'm just getting the color on all the glass. So I'm going to squeeze some of my excess glass off the blowpipe. Now I'm going to get some color in it. I'm going to get a layer of white. One layer is not enough, so I'll reheat that. And once that layer of white melts in, I'll add another layer of white on top of it. So we need a denser layer of white. You know, when I'm getting this white glass, it's really important that I don't roll the glass onto itself. That'll create a fold of color, and it won't look as interesting. This is the last coat of white. You can see, getting that there. I got plenty of white on this. Now I'm gonna melt that in a little bit. I'm gonna pop a bubble in it, and then I'll gather some clear glass over there. So I'm gonna barber
Make sure the back of this will break off. So I'm squeezing a whole lot right now, getting the constriction. Now I'm going to heat that one more time. I want to get that just a little bit longer. I don't want like this short, stubby stomach. I want my small stomach to be a little taller. Unlike me. I was really hoping to make it a six foot, but it didn't happen. No. So, I want to get this a little bit longer by going the whole swingy thing. It's a longer bubble now. Reattach my blow hose. Finish shaping up my snowman. Snowman head! It's a 
little trickier. Again, I'll get some of that red glass. I'll melt that in. Keep the snowman warm. 